Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riach, known as the King of Networking, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Chicago, Illinois, Chris Lautenschlager, is founder of Get Looped LLC, providing guidance for small and mid-sized companies to incorporate prosperity in collaboration with profitability. Chris is also author of The Prosperity Loop. Chris, what is one piece of advice you'd give someone starting a small business? Well, Tom, thank you for having me on your show. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you and your audience. The best piece of advice that I could give anyone that's starting their small business is to recognize that the people that they work with, their team, are their biggest asset. You know, I know that small business owners are often extraordinarily focused on maintaining their costs. They mm -hmm. want to get profitable as quickly as possible. And maintaining their costs are obviously a big component of getting to that profitability. Costs of employees can be your largest cost. And subsequently, it's always something that we keep an eye on. But I, I think sometimes business owners get lost in recognizing that the people that are helping them create their wealth, the people that are the front lines of interacting with their customers, the people that are the face of their organization in many respects mm -hmm. are their greatest assets. And so keeping that at top of mind and always looking to help invest in those people, I think will always serve you well. I have to agree with you because as a consumer, as a person, that's how I perceive companies. And there's just so many companies, so many things out there happening that seem to be peopleless. Uh, they're not friendly atmospheres. They're you know, and, and I, I don't personally like that. I don't either. And actually, I'm a st extraordinarily strong advocate for the value and importance of small businesses in our society, that mm -hmm. small businesses are the fabric of our communities, and that the secret sauce for small businesses is the fact that we have people that we can interact with. Being able to have personal contact is our superpower. We're often not going to be able to compete with the very large international organizations based on price or product selection or sometimes even convenience mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. things can be dropped off at your door. But it's the interaction, it's the social connection that we have with our customers right. and each other that is our superpower for our success as a business, but also our superpower as success as a community. And so leverage that human connection, leverage the fact that your people are your greatest asset. You know, one of the things that I, that I learned a long time ago is there's no such thing as a self-made millionaire. And mm -hmm. if you want to be successful in business, you need to get out of yourself and expand right. your reach to touch others. No, I, I can't agree with you more when we're talking about, let's talk the mom and pop stores. When we're talking about small business, that's everywhere in the world. Right? Here in Brazil. It is everywhere States, in the world. If you go through Europe, Asia, uh, the strength of commerce, the strength of business from small businesses. And literally mom and pop, you know, family run entities and the nice part of that you could go into a store and you see people you know them and they know you and that's really the, the beginning of community because it's the community level we see the world in the same way tom i think it's so important for us to acknowledge that and embrace it and nourish it here in the united states there used to be a saying that small businesses are the backbone of this nation mm -hmm. they still are 99.9% of registered businesses in this country are small businesses. Right. Subsequently, the politics and the power sh has shifted in this country because mm -hmm. it, the, their ability to be able to consolidate and influence and, and let's just say lobby more as effectively as larger organizations isn't as strong as it used to be. That's why I'm focusing my efforts on educating people from the ground up on a groundswell perspective, because that's where the real action hits the road, so to speak, uh, is again, 
being able to be of service to our community and each other. I see that on your site where you say a wealth creation model for socially conscious leaders, their teams and their communities. That's about as grassroots as you can get. It's, and it actually brings me the greatest level of joy. You know, one of the nice things about working within your community is that you see results. Um, people, I think, should always be socially conscious and looking to help each other. But when you're focused on your own community, mm -hmm. when that playground that's down the street that needed to be cleaned up or needed to be created right. uh, has changes based on your efforts, mm -hmm. it's incredibly rewarding. And the same goes for even within your own organization, when there's for instance, if someone in your organization has a sick parent or child right. or, 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 or relative, and you can gather the team to make that a purpose of your organization, it creates, again, a connection, a bond, a spirit that does everyone good in, in pursuing that purpose. Well, that's back to what you said at the beginning of just valuing your employees but also knowing your employees uh, at a more personal level. They're part of the community. They're part of the community. And again, they're your most important asset. So I started with that. I'm going to end with that, that um, if there's anything that you should keep at top of mind when creating your business is that your team is your company. And the more that you invest in them, the more that they will be able to give back to you. So you can look at that. Um, you mentioned my website. My website is at www.get-looped.com. That's G-E-T-L-O-O-P-E-D. You can also read about um, my philosophies in regards to investing in your organization at uh, with my book, The Prosperity Loop. Tom, it's been a joy to be able to be part of this uh, of this program and to be able to share this information with your with your listeners out there. Very good, and thanks for being here. But again, to our listeners, where can they find you? They can find me at my website www.get-loop.com. Very good. Well, thanks again for being here. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you. And again, it's Chris Lautenslager. It's C-H-R-I-S, the last name L-A-U-T-E-N-S-L-A-G-E-R. You find him on LinkedIn and get-looped.com, get-looped.com. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast.